Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3838 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. So here we go, 29 moves to clear out 142 jelly. Of course there are things in our way. We've got sugar chests, so we need to collect sugar keys. There's a sugar key in here. So we have to collect some keys to get to the chests to open them up because we have jelly underneath. And then we've got chocolate in some of them. We have got licorice swirls, not on jelly, but cordoning off areas, prohibiting us from getting easily from here over to here. So I think this is what's going to have to happen. We're gonna to have to use this area to get to here, this area to get to here, this area to get to here, to clear it all out. We do have some helpers on the board. I'm not going to say that the conveyor belt is a helper or a problem, because for me it tends to be a problem, but I can see how for others it might be a help because sometimes when it spins around it gives us some fun things. And talk about fun things. Wow, not only this, but another color bomb. If I just hit the color bomb, it'll take out the most prevalent color, which I wish were yellow, but it's not. So I'm going to have to find another way to attack these and open things up. If I could get a stripe to open this, and then, well, this would take a lot of opening. Yeah, I have to figure out how to get there first. And I should be able to get a stripe from here, right? So here's a stripe. It's not lined up well, but I can try to change that. I'm going to keep it right in its current path because that's where the key should come. And then, if I could just take out purple, that would work well. I can't take out purple. Let's bring this along. Look at this. Now we've got it at the same rate. And so now we're going to take out purple with this, and it's going to collect that key. There we go. I've got a couple more of these wonderful color bombs. And how best can I use them? How can I set things off? Because this is still too difficult to get to. Mm. <sighs> color bomb, color bomb would collect everything. I should have worked towards that. Now I know better. If I take out this, I have to keep taking it out so that it stays gone so I can hit these guys. So that's another opportunity I could pursue. I'm just trying to figure out the very best approach here. The more I study the board, the better I understand it. I wish I had studied it a bit more before I started making the moves. I could do, th no I can't because this is blocking it. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I can't push those together. I can push these together and then I would have a blue stripe, but I don't really have anything leading over there yet. I have a stripe trapped combo, but I would have to get this out of the way so it's low enough to hit here. But again, I can't move this over to here because of this blocker. So that doesn't work very well. If this were... Oh, here, I've got it. I take this out. Oh, I wanted to, to turn everything into a green wrapped, and I just didn't look to see if bad things were going to happen to that first. Oh, bad choice on my part. Well, now if I could get a stripe wrapped combo over here, that would help. Doesn't look like that's happening. I've got this opportunity, but this is not orange, so that doesn't work for me. Let's keep taking a look. How do I get to those keys? How do I easily achieve that? It hasn't been easy. I think a color bomb, color bomb is the way to go. So that's what I'm going to try to work on. And that's where a problem exists when we're talking about these conveyor belts. It's so very difficult to set up color bombs when things shift on us. Hmm. 
And then, of course, to get it exactly where we want it to be is a challenge. What if I could get an orange stripe? Uh, okay, color bomb, color bomb, got it. If nothing blows up, which is tricky, but if nothing blows up and this takes another turn, I get all of these keys collected. It opens this, it opens these. So color bomb, color bomb is the way to go if we can manage it. And now we do this, which also opens and collects some of that chocolate, gets that out of the way. We want to make sure that we take out the chocolate so we're not dealing with it over and over. And now what? Well, I could make a stripe here which leads over to this area, and this area really needs some attention. But then this chocolate is going to grow and create problems. I could set this off over here, but it would also hit this, which would take out a color and concentrate things down, which is good, but then I wouldn't be able to use this, you know, with, combined with a special. I have to determine which is the best choice at this point in time. I don't know. I think going big here is the way to go. We get rid of the chocolate, we blow things up, we clear things out, and then we get this opportunity to focus on this area. I'm going to make a wrapped and hope to set it up with a stripe over here somehow. This does not make a stripe. The wrapped over here doesn't seem to be helpful. I need some stripes coming in. Here we go a little bit. It, I'm off kilter here, but I'm also going to be hitting that. So now more stripes I need over here. And unfortunately, I've got stripes over in this side. And what happens is sometimes these will get stingy because we already have stripes on the board and so it doesn't know we need stripes over here. Didn't quite make it, but I learned a lot from this board. I learned that... I need to figure out a way to get those keys. And for me, a uh, color bomb, color bomb is the very best way because it approaches the entire board all at once. And working on just getting this little guy over here, wherever he was, um, that's really tough to do. Tougher, in my opinion, than trying to get two color bombs together. So that's what I'm going to work on from the beginning. I'll pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to say.
Okay, so a bit tricky here because I need this to hit this, and it's not a sure thing right now. So I'm going to have to rely on the volatility of everything around me to get this done, including those conveyor belts that I don't often appreciate, but maybe should in this instance, because this is what's going to get the job done right there. Not my move in particular, but my move in combination with the conveyor belt being able to spin things around. All told, that took me less than 10 tries, somewhere between 5 and 10 tries. Um, and a couple of times I got a couple of uh, color bombs together. Didn't quite work. And then a couple of times I got close and then eventually the win by uh, attacking it in a piecemeal fashion, which I thought was going to be a lot less effective and efficient, but turned out to be the winning combination at the end. Because of course, sometimes those color bombs don't show up when you want them. And so you just have to play with whatever the board is going to give you. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.